R slash off my chest. Suitable stable 8749 says. My girlfriend is out with friends more often, and I'm getting upset. Some backstory, I went to Indonesia for a holiday for 2 weeks, I told my girlfriend to hang out with friends while I'm gone, she is with me 24 over 7, and has been for the past year, and when I got back excited to see her she said she was busy with friends. It didn't bother me until 1 hour became 7 hours. I had a mental breakdown from it. We talked about it after, and she said, that she thinks it is time, that we hang out with friends more often. As selfish as this sounds I truly didn't want that as I get major anxiety from being away from her. I agreed though, to not make her upset. That was a week ago, she has spent more time with me, but when she does go out with friends she doesn't text me at all. Maybe once every 3 hours but not a lot. Once I finished class for the day I have to take the train home, 50 minutes, and I was overly excited to see her. Only for her to text me, I want to hang out with my friends a bit longer to be aware she was with them 3 hours prior to this message. I said okay as it didn't bother me. That was at 4pm she texted me at 4.30pm then didn't text me back until 9.30pm. This hurt a lot. I don't know if I'm being over dramatic about this, but I don't want her to distance so much that she loses feelings. Does anybody know how I can cope with this sudden change? Or any advice? Thank. I love MILF says. Sounds like you have an anxious attachment disorder. The best thing you can do is get used to being away from her and focus on yourself in those moments. There's plenty of books on codependency as well that may be helpful. Blink underscore Y79 says. Don't know if this is allowed, but I see similarities, albeit maybe milder, in myself. Do you have any tips or maybe books that help with this? I don't really have the resources for therapy where I live. I love MILF says. I've struggled with it in the past myself honestly. Two books that help me are Insecure, In Love by Leslie Becker Phelps, and Anxiously Attached by Jessica Baum. Another good one for identifying other kinds of codependency in oneself is Codependent No More by Melody Beattie which has exercises and self-tests written into it for self-evaluation. Best of luck. Princess of Perky says. So you only wanted her to have a social life when you were busy. That's not good for either of you. Being together 24 over 7 is not good. Definitely focus on working on your attachment and anxiety. R slash off my chest. Defiant Big 421 says. My dad didn't take me on holiday with his new family again, and I don't know how to tell him how much this hurts. My dad, 53, and mum, 50, divorced shortly after I 16 male, was born and whilst my mum has always had primary custody I always see my dad every other weekend. Less than 2 years after my divorce my dad had his first child 13 female, with his now wife, 41. Who he married a year later, and she is a nice woman who's never wronged me. We have always had what I thought was a close relationship, and throughout my life he has always been there for me, although as I look back I realize that he would like to me about plans in order to avoid discussions that would make him uncomfortable. This alone would be okay, but a few years later after his second child 9 female with his new wife, he sent my mum a message saying that he would be unavailable for a week and then proceeded to go on holiday with his new family, his new wife, kids and my granddad, and make posts online about how much he loved being with his whole family and then when he came back explained that I get to go on holiday with my mum and her partner and that if I got to go on holiday with him to then it would be unfair to my stepsisters, which at that point left me, at the time around 9 years old, content and led me to believe that this was normal and that I'm situations with Divorced parent you only got to go on holiday with one parent, which was a belief I held up 
until about 3 years and 2 more of his family holidays later I was talking about it to a friend about it who also had divorced parents and he looked at me as if I was a madman and proceeded to explain to me how this wasn't normal. This drove me to talk to my dad and ask him why I couldn't and then he promised me he would take me on the next holiday he had booked which pretty much seemed to be the end of the story but then the virus caused that holiday to be cancelled. Then last year in May my mum received another message from him saying that he was committed for a week in July and she told me this so that I didn't think I was going to see him that week which is pretty normal you yeah, know but upon asking him about it he just said that he had some work to do this was the summer holidays and he is a teacher and continued with that narrative until the next time I saw him after this time when he then informed me that he had been on a holiday to Portugal and that it was a lovely family affair that I apparently wouldn't have enjoyed because it was just a lot of going in the pool and relaxing in a hotel and this made me a bit frustrated and then I told my dad that this was hurting my feelings and that I felt like I wasn't a part of his new family and that he just wants to start fresh. He dismissed these claims saying that I was just being silly and that I should be grateful that I go on holiday with my mum and that the holiday was a spur of the moment purchase despite him stating the dates I couldn't visit months in advance. Please bear in mind I hadn't really clocked that he was lying to me at this point last year and that if he had just listened and acknowledged my concerns I wouldn't be in the position I'm now. So about a month ago my dad messaged my mum saying that he was committed for about 10 days, coincidentally starting the day I make this post. Now at this point everyone on my mum's side of the family understand that this is just his code for a holiday with his new family he doesn't want me knowing about, but I still believed that he wasn't lying and that there was an explanation, so I asked him what he was doing in the holidays, a reasonable question, and he just brushed me off and said that there was nothing big happening, and then while I was putting in the dates into his phone I would be visiting him. For the summer, I saw that the time frame he said he was committed was all highlighted with the word holiday over it, but I didn't want to push him, because it could have been the school holidays as he had been marking exams and this could be his week off, so I kept asking him if he had plans, praying that he would answer honestly and tell me, but to no avail and to be continually brushed off. Then a few days ago I went to my dad's dad, my granddad's, house to spend some time with him, and lo and behold on his calendar for the duration of dad's commitment I see marked clear as day holiday to Corfu with family. I didn't push granddad on this as he is not quite right at the moment and wouldn't understand. But when I got back to my mum's today I felt miserable, and for the first time in years just cried as I feel that my dad has just completely lied to me, and has no remorse or comprehension of why his actions are wrong. He will probably use the concert we went to together earlier in the year in my holiday with my mum last year as reasoning for what he's done, but I just want to know, is it right to be as upset as I am or am I a spoiled brat with no awareness, and how should I deal with this, any? Speculative underscore Sparrow says. He apparently doesn't want you along. I wonder if his new wife has anything to do with it. I would guess it's she who doesn't want you along. I can't imagine why a father would not want to take his son along for family trips, and it's not unfair to your sisters either. That's a lame excuse. No you aren't wrong to be upset for being excluded. Not at all. He's in the wrong. You are his child, just as much as his other children are. I'd be upset if it were me, and honestly wouldn't want to spend time with him knowing he repeatedly lied to me, so he could exclude me. Odyssey Zero Usley says. Say your peace to your dad and grandfather, and stop allowing them to exclude you, and treat you this way. Stop going over there. Stop calling. Just stop. Dutch Middle 693 says. Asked him how's Corfu when they come back. Equivalent underscore comfort 72 says. Just be straight about it. Let him know you know he's going on holiday without him those days, how it makes you feel, and the damage the lies, even more than being left out, has done to your relationship with him. Nchbel1029 says. I'm sorry this is happening to you Opus. 
these are the reasons and the moments where you will begin to question if going NC are right for you. It's best you call him out on his lies, tell him how it makes you feel, and don't fall for any more excuses. It's completely reasonable to be brought on family trips. You are not spoiled, he is absolutely cutting you out of his family life, it may be driven by the stepmom, he may just be a cheap ass, and doesn't want to pay for another person, or he's just an insensitive jerk. Does he ever support you in other ways, do father-son bonding activities, attend events with you, that you are interested in? If the answer is no then I'm even more sorry. Good parents and step-parents want and do take an active interest in their kids' lives and want to spend quality family time together. r slash off my chest. Anancore G99856 says. Why don't I understand people? I'm autistic, I struggle to understand social interaction expectations I try to avoid being an inconvenience, especially at work. I moved positions last year because my husband had been sick for 10 weeks and need multiple life-saving surgeries. Despite working in his hospital room, taking meetings, etc I was still told if you're incapable of handling your role I can find someone new I've had a horrific flu since last week. Ed been requested up to help in the top boss's office while they were short staffed but I've also been balancing my usual work. I haven't had a voice since last week because my throat has been swollen over. The head office gave me an early mark yesterday and insisted I take the day off. My colleagues insisted on the same. I decided after a lot of debating and guilt I decided I would take the day. I sent a message to my superior saying I'm unwell, I'm unable to work. Contact this number in emergencies, since that message half my superiors called and messaged me asking me to do work, to confirm who will be helping them, while I'm away for a day, asking to talk through processes etc. I logged on to work remotely, and was then told you didn't give us the impression you were that sick, if you're sick maybe don't tell people to contact you, I'm certain I won't, be the last I don't understand what I keep doing wrong. I normally beg and over explain when I'm sick. I tried to emulate what the directors say to us when they are sick but this was the response. I'm lost, I'm sick of not understanding people. Solid Peer 17 says. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure what was hard to understand about your message, I thought it was pretty clear. I feel like this one's a problem on their part, not yours. Torhey says. Going forward I'd say something along the lines of, I will be out of office and unreachable for the remainder of the day. Please contact, supervisor, if there is an urgent matter. I think your message was clear, but apparently these people aren't sure what constitutes an emergency. Feel better soon. Thoughtful Miss says. Maybe people should make an effort to understand you. Mariah underscore Magda 85 says. It's them not you. Do they know you have autism? They should be able to communicate clearly and cut the vague s an at t. Maybe go to ours or your supervisor and request they give you clear and direct instructions. Your email was clear. They are horrible employers. What they did to you when your husband was getting surgeries was horrible. Moment McKee 9782 says. Do they know you're autistic? They could be trying to take advantage of you, or bully you into doing what they want. People suck sometimes. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.